How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Dragon Fable release video and today we have a very small release so let's just reimagine they are working on the ninja class and next week's in challenge is going to be a pirates versus ninjas uh, sort of in challenge so really excited and looking forward to that. I am guessing we will probably get ninja next month. They said that they will add some new animations and all that sort of stuff. That's why we are getting a smaller release this week. But anyways, let us go ahead and check out the release to Sulan Eska. So they reimagine the Arox's evil quest. And I actually did just cover that recently in one of my Let's Play Dragon Table episodes. So uh, it's still pretty fresh in my head what went on. Let's see how they changed it, okay? Oh, I remember previously I said that... Uh, it was a little bit difficult with all the mana golems and whatnot, right? So let's see how they actually changed the quest to make it. I don't know. Hopefully they did to make it a little bit easier for like uh, new players or players who are not. So uh, wait, what did they change the name to? Uh, rename and reimagine. God, I forgot the name. Okay, let me let me see what the what the new name is. Woods and deeds. Oh, words and deeds. Sorry. Okay. So that's the new name. Got hang. Okay, words and deeds. There we go. <coughs> okay. There's more of them around the corner. Preposterous. How are there so many of them in my castle? Who are they? Korriban, do you have any idea where they came from? Uh, give me a minute. I'm almost done here. The knights are nowhere to be seen. Is this an attack on the kingdom? What did Jania do? I, I abandoned the guesses and ran. I have to go back and make sure. No father, you have to evacuate. Your life is what's important here. Phew, alright, I'm done. Taking off that formal wear from over my epoch attire was harder than I expected. I thought so over outfits were supposed to be manageable. Daniel and I are going to have a little chat later. Your majesty, princess, we are good to go. I can hear screaming. We have to leave it to Jania. My prerogative... My prerogative is to get you to safety. Wait, what about Brittany? She'll be safe. How can you be so sure? Only Jania and I can unseal her room. We still don't know what's causing her illness after all. There are sure a lot of them ahead. We are going to have to fight our way through. Who are they? Who would be so foolish as to attack the castle? I don't know. All I know right now is that Jania has some hand in this. Nevertheless, she's keeping the main chat at bay so we can escape. Please stay close and leave them to me. I'll help. You will not fight, young lady. Shh, keep it down. What? Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Princesses like you should not. No, just no. You will not tell me what I can or can't do. I'm tired of you treating me like this. Can this wait? We are kind of... Every time I came back from delegations, I had to hide cuts and bruises from you because I knew you wouldn't approve of my adventures. But that ends now. I'm not made of porcelain. I can take care of myself. And I'm certainly not interested in attracting a prince. I'm gallivanting around the countryside engaged in such unsuitable activities, father. Ooh, okay. By the way, uh, the dialogue so far, I think it's the same. Yeah, I remember all of this. Yes, I still remember that. At, uh, yes, I still remember that. I remember every single time you scolded me thus. Now I'm going to take out my bow, rip out my dress and defend you because I'm not just a helpless princess, I am your daughter. And I'm going to help you get out of here whether you like it or not because that's who I am. Yep, they definitely know we are here now. Hurry, we have to move before they corner us. You have a bow with you? Let's go. We'll continue this conversation later. Whatever, I don't care, let's just go. <clears throat> so, Eltion being an old dragon lord, he's... Clearly capable of defending himself, or at least helping out in the fight rather than, you know, just standing around being useless, so... Not sure what's up with that. Okay, so far, uh... It's still a little bit early to tell, but they still have the same amount of HP. I assume they are gonna do the same amount of damage too. Let's just see. Okay, Robina. Oh, only one skill. Okay, so that's still the same. Uh, oh, okay. <coughs> Wait, is it cause of my resistances? Oh yeah, maybe it's cause of the resistances that I have. As a max level player. Remember, they used to hit very hard. Maybe I might redo this on my uh, free-to-play account. Let's see if they reduce, actually reduce the damage or not. This guy has... 
this guy has more, a little bit less health. Does he do more damage? Let's see. Oh yeah, okay, okay. So Robina has no resistances. Okay, so yeah. Whew, my resistances did play a huge part. 61 as opposed to 0. That's like a whole world of difference. Okay, so I assume my lower level character, he will still be doing about 100 plus damage per hit. Okay, not as much as what he did to Robina, but still a considerable amount. Damn. So, did they cut down the number of enemies or not? I, that one, I don't really remember what the exact numbers are, but it seems like it's still the same. Okay. This should be a... Uh... Oh, okay. I remember there was a group of three or something. Was Or was that in the next room? Oh, okay. So they did cut back on the number of enemies. Okay. So yeah, the, the whole groups of three fight and uh, groups of two, I think they changed it to one. Which is nice because obviously there's no problem for you know higher level players or like players who have more of the unlock classes such as myself. But for the lower level players, you can see how they will really struggle. Or at least I personally experienced it in my Let's Play Dragon Flavor series. Okay, Ooh, it's very cool. I think they added music or something. Previously there wasn't music to this scene, and it was just dead silent. So that was a little weird. So I'm glad that they added music here. We have some nerve attacking the palace during a peaceful royal celebration. Do you understand why you started? Whatever it takes, you cannot interfere with the fissure. Well, this only makes me want to look into it even more. What is it that you're so desperately protecting? That you're ready to start a war for? The fissure is simply a geyser of raw mana. It's not even on your territory. You're trespassing. The fissure is not yours. It is so much more. Uh, what? You didn't realize the extent of my power? Your colleague or whoever he was underestimated me and look what he has brought upon himself. You'll end up like that too. So before it happens, tell me everything you know. I'll hate for all your knowledge to go to waste. We will stop you. I see. Are they in every corner of the castle? This seems planned. But I thought they were only here for Janya. Maybe they were lying or maybe they wanted to prevent her from fleeing? Wait, oops, clicked a bit too fast. What do they even want from us? Pen, can we rest for a bit? Pen, I'm not made for running Pen anymore. Oh, seriously? You're, you were fighting dragons back in your days or taming them and then later on after you recovered you can fully take on a, uh, a Cantus but now you're getting tired all of a sudden? Really? I'm too old for this, Pen. I think we are safe for now. We can rest for a couple of minutes but we have to stay quiet. <laughs> There you are, you could have warned me you were going to be leaving the scene, Koiran. Oh, Melissa is here. Okay, so previously I think there were a bit more fights before we encountered Melissa. So yeah, they drastically reduced the difficulty and the number of monsters you have to fight in this quest. That's, that's good, that's good. Melissa, I'm glad you're safe. I would have waited for you, but given present company, that wasn't really an option. Alright, um, hello your majesties. I'm Princess Melissa of the fairies. The fairies? Got a problem with that? Uh, no, no, certainly not. Your Majesty, while we are resting, I would like to have a word with you. I suppose I'm in no place to deny you. Thank you. I would like you to take a moment and consider what Jania is doing. Which is, under her leadership, the Rose, they've done horrible things. Not all of them, I guess, but no, that's besides the point. The Rose is doing awful things to magical creatures and peoples all over Green Guard. That's not how I'll describe it. You. You know about it all? Do you think Jania is keeping me in the dark? I know the Rose is capturing terrible beasts, bring them to the Beastmaster so that he can take care of them. I also know that the Rose is pursuing mages who are using magic for evil acts and taking them in for rehabilitation. It's for the safety of Green Guard, not everyone can defend themselves like you can. That's not true, not at all. The Rose is hunting innocent creatures just because they are magical. Up until recently, General Akantas led an oppressive war against the Clawkin, Travia, and more in Betrubang Swamp. They are being taken away from their families and loved ones, simply because they are magical. In the eyes of the rose, magic is evil. But magic is evil. How can you say that? Have you forgotten how Deshaw and I saved Green Guy and all of law? All of the good that's been done using magic? Then dangerous. Magic is dangerous. So they removed the uh, rocks evil line, I think. Oh wait, no they didn't. Rocks are also dangerous. Swords and spears are also dangerous. Are rocks evil? Are your knights? 
Pe evil people misuse magic. They use it as a tool, a weapon. But magic is so much more than that. And of course, Ravina vehemently agrees. By the way, I just want to say that uh, there are some parallels to the real world, like uh, like the magic here. You can apply it to maybe you can apply it to guns in real life. So are guns actually dangerous, or is it just people who are misusing them? You know, magic is. I can take it from your card, but magic is the life and soul of law. Okay, obviously it's very different, but you know some somewhat a little bit of a parallel between the real world and Dragon Fable. By a sentence, I'm a magical creature, evil, dangerous. But I'm a person, King Eltion, a person just like you. Magic touches all things, whether we want it to or not. The Rose is using that as an excuse to persecute whoever they wish. They're using the excuse of defending Green Guard from magic to do whatever they want. Please, Your Majesty, I do not blame you for wanting what's best for your kingdom, but the Rose has twisted your good intent and abused your sentiments, just as they have so many others. Now, Princess Victoria, do you... Robina will suffice at the moment. Robina, do you know where we are in the castle? We should try to make for an exit as soon as possible. I, I don't know, it's been a while since I've wandered these hallways. Father? A way out? Yes, there's an old back door that leads outside the walls. It's normally supposed to be locked and gated, but I suppose it's our only choice. That will do, we've spent long enough here. Let's get moving, Melissa. Watch our backs, okay? Okay, so they speed this up, I think. Uh, oh, there are still more guards, but I think they removed the triple battle. <coughs> Excuse me. So I thought Melissa or at least Elkion may be added as a friend here, but no. Okay, we still get the double battles. I think the double battles are fine. Like, it's a little bit of increased difficulty every now and then, but they are unmanageable or what. Uh, the triple battles, however, really, really hurt. So I think they did cut down on that, which is nice. Next. Oh yeah, they, they removed a bunch of stuff for sure. Apart from the triple battles, I think they removed like one or two guards from the, the back or something. But you you can go back for the healing pad in the second part, so I guess that's okay. Oh, so instead of fighting two at once, now you're fighting them separately. Okay, that's also nice. Now they want to add more, make it like solo, like this, instead of like double or triple. The triple fights are really really painful. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I think the final one we do get a triple fight, which is okay since it is the last one after all. Uh, I don't think we can kill any of them. Can we try this one? Oh, just nice. Okay, there we go. My magic is much more powerful than yours. You uh, will keep this up forever. You'll tire eventually. That's your magic source, isn't it? You use people as nexuses? Despicable. You are telling me what is despicable? We know what your organization has done. We have done our research. I'll repeat myself. Tell me what the fissure is. It'll save me some time. As you know, I already have people investigating it. I'll know sooner or later. Might as well be sooner. Never. Ugh. You attacked the royal court and infiltrated the castle. I assume you have more of those golems of yours scattered throughout it. I could even assume that they may have attacked the king himself. Granted, Koiba most likely took the king to safety. Nonetheless, you foolishly started a cascade of events. They will inev inevitably lead to intercontinental conflict. All because of me. I would say I'm flattered, pet, but I'm not that petty. Was it worth it? I have underestimated you. That much is true. But you will be stopped. You think this is the extent of the ship versus power? You should fear as the proclamation is alright. And yes, a canter, so I'll sort through the back. Here, I see the exit. Let's hurry and escape the castle before more of them catch up to us. Fresh air, finally, I've had enough of this edifice. I'm, I'm going to go on ahead, I need to stretch my wings. And where will we go? Could we hide somewhere in the city? And of course, Melissa's simple word of I'm going ahead uh, will explain how Eltion gets stabbed or slashed in the back. What if they're there too? There are too many unknowns. We can figure out the details later, but for now we need to move. I, I can't abandon my people. You're not... Yeah. Father? No.
and ooh, they have lost visual contact. Such a shame. They have been lost along with their ignominious. Does this pose an issue for the shapeless's plans? If it is a war they want, they shall have it. The shapeless wills it. Continue preparation for the proclamation. Is that truly the only way? You heard the mage. She will not stop her interference. She must be occupied until the people turn against her. The proclamation will scour the land and it will be her own fault. Rightly so. The shapeless wills it. I, I just turned around. Is he okay? I don't I don't know. What are you do? I left you alone for one moment. What happened to the king? He's, he's been injured. What do we do now? We s still need to escape. Follow me. I know where to go. Where? Sula Eska. I don't know if that's a good idea, Melissa. Well, it's the only one we have right now. Kara will help. I know she will. Korriban. We're taking him to Sula Eska now. Robina, come with us. I... I can't. What? I have to stay. He's your father. I... Please take care of him. Robina. And... Oh. Amadeus is just there watching, okay. Pen, it's Pen, about time you showed up. Apologies, my lady, I was occupied elsewhere. I came as fast as I could. I shall gather troops and pursue Korriban at once. What do you mean? Korriban and his associates have kidnapped the king and fled Sword Haven. What are you talking about? I told them to escape. It is possible I was mistaken, but I can think of no other reason why the king would need to be unconscious if he were leaving by his own will. And if you were so concerned about the king's well-being, why didn't you stop them? It was already too late, forgive me. Just leave me, as you wish. Okay, so I think the dialogue here makes a bit more sense. Like, he makes it a point to make it a bit more believable, I guess? Okay, uh, explanation as to why, you know, Eltion was actually unconscious and how he was taken away, rather than, you know, leaving out that important detail like, if he didn't say that Eltion was unconscious, then you could simply just assume that Eltion went with us, right? This day can't get any worse. Huh? Oh. Blue Mage. Okay, let's see what we have for the rewards. Royal, Vault, uh, Sword, and all that. Uh, did they change the looks of this? I honestly can't remember. It's been so long since it last came out. But I think this was one of the requirements used for getting the ultimate blinding light of destiny So you definitely want to farm for the highest level versions here And yeah, that's going to do it for today's release guys Hope you guys have enjoyed the video If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up And of course subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content Till the next time, I'm your host Corban Gaming Peace out